crew in London's burning. And that's after some classic laughs with ten years of All Right on the Night. A word about the president. For seven and a half years I've worked alongside him. And I'm proud to have been his partner. And we've had triumphs. We've made some mistakes. We've had some sex setbacks. <laughs> Researchers say it will be three to four years of intensive research before the mystery bug is even identified. This cow will be put down within the week. Welcome the man for whom it's always all right in the night on his first visit here. So I'm glad to welcome him. Dennis Norton. And, and, and to catastrophe connoisseurs everywhere, a warm and seasonal welcome to another It'll Be All Right on the Night. Television's last line of defence against runaway infallibility. <laughs> it, it's hard to believe that it's now ten years since we first brought you outtakes of eminent and experienced media persons suddenly behaving like the man they named idiot cards after. But the mathematically minded among you might like to know that anybody who's seen every one of the shows so far has now witnessed no less than 800 cock-ups. <laughs> a figure unrivaled even by members of the present government. <laughs> so let's start with a few reminders of that first show. A few selected goodies that lead off with a clip that is still my favourite. Morning Gallant's a guess. Ice on your wings. It's not so good, Sonny. Not so good. Don't lose your head now. Remember what you've been taught. Who the hell is walking across that sky? You understand, Lieutenant, there's an article of war covering your conduct. Sir, but... Not another word. I'll call headquarters. Give me headquarters. <laughs> Colonel, nowadays they use the phone the other way around. <laughs> now, hold on a minute. Now, look. We didn't mean to scare you. My name's John Pendleton. This is my son. I don't think... Your name is not John Pendleton. <laughs> <laughs> Drink again? I'd like a scotch and ginger. A scotch and ginger, yes. I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> it's a joke for later on. <laughs> Chippy? <laughs> you have a wooden leg when I'll finish with it.
I was a, a lady who calls herself Little Nell. <laughs> Photographed at her coming out dance. <laughs> to mark this 10th anniversary, we decided to inaugurate some special All Right on the Night awards on the lines of the BAFTA awards. Only ours, of course, would be more in the nature of NAFTA <laughs> for conspicuous underachievement. And the first category that occurred to us, because we've seen it happen so many times in so many ways, was the silver statuette for distinguished falling down, or what you might call close, close encounters of the thud kind. <laughs> so let's meet the finalists. You think that, but you don't know. <laughs> It's cold and desolate here now. A big change from when the Who were here this past summer. 60,000 people. <laughs> Discover a new you at Family Fitness Center. You'll be amazed at the results. <laughs> Alcohol, liquor, booze. Fiercest critics of the district council's failure to provide it. <laughs> he was the, he was the winner, I think. There, there, there was certain, certain elegance about his nose dive. Now, there, there, there are times when a bad memory can trip all of us up. I, I was told about a garage mechanic who replaced three perfectly good parts before he remembered he was working on his own car. <laughs> but forgetfulness. Forgetfulness could be even more unfortunate if you're a politician or an actor. As you'll see by the challengers in our next NAFTA category, the Kurt Waldheim Less Than Total Recall Award. There are two major promises he has not been able to keep, and those are the promises to put more Americans back to work, and the second promise is the promise to... Um... <laughs> what is that second promise? <laughs> But I do know this, that snip of yours is going to put up a good show that's going to be a credit to Emmerdale. Oh, well, my duty's clear. Now, now, Joe, Jack, I mean Matt. <laughs> From News Scene 7, this is News Brief. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> you see, on a day like this, the town is very full of people. We've got lots of people on the beach enjoying themselves, and, uh... It's, it's a very good scene indeed this year, altogether. How far has this been due largely to the weather, do you think? Well, I think uh, it's got to have a lot to do with the weather. Um, the weather in traditional English terms is not very predictable. Uh, sorry, it's very predictable. <laughs> or is it not? It's not <laughs> Bully Bay, they'll be amazed to see a lavoir near Radio Corner that was never there at all. Well, it was, but it's been so overgrown for so long that nearly everybody... <laughs> right, now it's time for a break. <coughs> break, but stay tuned, because we'll be talking to Andy Marriott, talking about the South African Grand Prix. <laughs> yeah. Grand Prix? Grand Prix! Mm. About his Grand Prix? Yes, Grand Prix! <laughs> He's got here Grand Prix. Well, as the old philosopher said, nothing ventured, nothing goofed. <laughs> Melissa Wilkes, that was, who later featured in Gra Grange Hill. She never did go back to motor racing, actually. But <laughs> in part two, we'll be handing out more NAFTA awards for performances deemed least likely to win any other awards. But for now, let's go into the break with another bunch of those moments when the letters TV seem to stand for Trivalium. <laughs> so come get your bumper sticker today and listen every afternoon at this time for our drawing. On weekdays, you can win a $20 Cocoa gift certificate and on Fridays, a 19-inch color TV. Now for the drawing. <laughs> You know, I do this Qantas trip so often, I always forget to do a bit of shopping beforehand. And I do get peckish, terrifically peckish, on these flights. Where are you off to, darling? I'm afraid there's a queue at the toilets. 
Julius. <laughs> In berth three of the busy port of Belfast lies the 800 ton Moray Fourth, the Firth. <laughs> Who's Sarah? The Renault 5. What's yours called? Now it's time for another of those witty Heineken commercials. So if you want to nip out and make a cup of tea, now's your chance. Oh, hello, Pert. Haven't you even started yet? Yeah, but Pert, it's, it's all preparation, isn't it? Well, if it's not done by the time I get back from Mother's, there'll be big trouble. So you see, Heineken even refreshes the pets other beers cannot reach. The brains behind the Tefal safety fryer have come up with an even safer fryer, the Tefal Super Cool. It still has the sealed locking lid and the wind down basket. But thanks to brilliant Tefal technology, the fryer is actually cool to the touch. We cannot, however, guarantee the same for the contents. The Tefal Super Cool, a cooler way to fry. Ooh. Right now at Andy's Records, we've got Hit Mix 88, the double album with double the hits, including Billy Ocean, Rick Astley, Michael Jackson, Fairground Attraction, and Hazel Dean. We Papa Girl Rappers. Hit Mix 88, 60 non-stop hits. Ask Andy's for Hit Mix 88. Andy's Records, we know what you're talking about. Les Français adorent le piador. now is a very famous, very distinguished actor. Really? Yes, and he's come along here personally to give me some valuable advice on acting. Do me a favour. It's probably with the meals on wheels, lady. What do you know if you want a starter? <laughs> well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> right. <Ooh. laughs> Two squadrons of bombers. Frankel 111. Detective cover one squadron of Messerschmitt 110. At the time we intercepted them, we were at the limit of our range. Jerry, of course, planning the raid and figured on that. With the result that we just couldn't hang on long enough. I think we got two one tens. I'm not sure, but they were probably. Oh. <laughs> well, this is the result of a, of a lifetime of ferreting, as far as you're concerned, isn't it? Mm, I started. I had them first when I was eight. Whereabouts was this? Was this in Yorkshire, Litchfield. Yeah. Ow! 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 <laughs> so I let it go. Put it on the floor. It won't hurt you. I can't take that, do I? Now, this must be the climax of the situation. Thank you. If that had meant business, it would have been through to the bone. She's playing with you. Yeah. 
And of course, Richard Whiteley, who went on to host the popular countdown shows. <laughs> Where are the ferrets working these days? I really don't know. <laughs> Last I heard, he was understudying Jeremy Beadle. <laughs> well, we weren't surprised by the recent report that scientists can now produce artificial fog because we've got so many clips showing TV pundits doing exactly the same thing. Now, hence, we've got the contenders for our next NAFTA category, the Clogging the Arteries of Communication trophy. Mr. Van, people are employed in the factory. They're not very many. What's far as I know, anyway? Well, there are as upwards of a thousand my, people altogether. My wife is, is, is employed, but I'm not, I'm not employed. And there's a consulate at the side of this town hall. It doesn't give... The, no, doesn't, sorry, you're, yes. you're moving around, yes. you see, and the camera can't... A, a consulate's the band. Wait, 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 take your Go time. ahead. Take your time. Now, keep your voice down, yes. because the microphone will take it. Yes. Just as you're yes. talking to me now. It's yes. fine. We have got a consulate... <laughs> oh, shout, because yes. you're blasting the microphone. You see, yes. the microphone can get you all yes. right. We have got a consulate, Mr. Band, that doesn't give work to the people who's born in the town. They don't give out the houses to the, to the people who's born in the town. I've been through it several times in the town. I had to go to the minister's storm one. <laughs> just, yes. just a moment. And there's a leaf work. Uh, just a yes. moment. There's a leaf work, Mr. Band, and it's supposed to get 13 stamps. And the, the rich peers are saying that the, the, the money's going up every year. The people who are born in Mr. Band are entitled to get leaf work. When they have to cross the water, they keep to your homes. There are three men <laughs> yes. outside the town hall. Yes, sir. Yes, three men, but the only one is George Cunt. 200 people around at the Liberal Exchange. You, yes. don't, you don't seem to be getting much support. Yes, the Liberal Exchange sends, sends the men across the water as born in the town, but they don't send them up to tell work. When this factory lay for two years, the people had to go up and sign on the daughter line on Mr. Band soil. Remember that factory that's born in Mr. Band soil belongs to Mr. Band people. When you love Mr. Ban, you're born Mr. Ban. If you're baptized Mr. Ban, Chapel, you're born Mr. Ban. But if you're not born Mr. Ban or baptized, you don't belong to the town. You're just a immigrant. <laughs> Diane Cannon with Peter Sellers, who's not only one of the world-class gigglers, he also features in the outtake we've had most requests to show again. But before we get to that, we just couldn't bear to do an entire programme without putting in at least a few that you haven't seen before. So here's where we ring out a short peel of contemporary clangers. Well, Katie, not only have you got a fine pair of legs, you've got one heck of a pair of boots. Oh. You've given... You've given... No, boots, I said. Boots. <laughs> Why won't you stay and help? I'll spend the rest of the day with my elbows up to my elbows in... <laughs> Fresh. I love you. Oh, steady on, old girl. <laughs> to rural Dean said that city folk had no idea what was going on in the countryside these days. All seems well as the church bells toll calling the faithful to prayer. But at night... What happens at night? <laughs> Okay, we want more people to call in, though. We want to try it. We, won't, we don't have much time left. We need you to call in now. We do. We do. You know the number here in the metropolitan area, 647-077. <laughs> All through the Christmas holiday, ITN will be on the air as usual, bringing you the latest news from Britain and around the world. I'll be here with the rest of the team on Christmas Day. And I'll be here on Boxing Day. So, so join ITN and keep in touch. <laughs> Morning, Ken. What's the matter with you? This is from me to you. <coughs> you spell resign. I-N-E, not I-G-N. No, you don't. You spell it I-G-N. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Mark Bedore. And I'm Nancy Silva. Oh, excuse me. I'm Karina Rust. Nancy Silva is on vacation. <laughs> Go on ahead. I'll catch you up. Let's go inside, eh? Sure. Of course, I'm sure. Uh, listen, uh, I've got a couple of things to do. Um, I'll be back in about... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, he did say, you go on ahead. <laughs> Before moving into our final item, let me once again thank all the people who, for ten years now, 
have helped us raise the general level of cock-up consciousness by allowing us to put theirs on display. I'd also like to mention some of the outtakes we still haven't been able to get hold of, like that indiscreet camera angle during News at 10 that showed Sandy Gall reading the news with his trousers rolled up. <laughs> the historic moment when Judith Chalmers got a bee down her bra during a Royal Garden party. <laughs> and the cookery programme where Keith Floyd put too much brandy in the Christmas pudding, took off all his clothes and sautéed himself with currants and onions. <laughs> so, to that clip that we've had the most requests to re-show. It's generally referred to as the one with Peter Sellers in the lift. <laughs> it's a scene where, as Peter himself will explain, his director, Blake Edwards, had him disguised as a godfather figure, entering a lift where various other heavy gangster types eye him suspiciously. Suddenly Blake says, oh, stop, stop. I got a great idea. Whilst they're sizing each other up, and one's looking like that, and closer's looking like that, and all this sort of business going, the George Raft routine. Someone should break wind, you see. And that would, now they'd all. <laughs> so we said, yeah, but um, if we we do that what's gonna happen I mean how are we gonna oh we said that's all right I'll say now now So that's what started it. And then Blake said, all right, I won't say now. We said, now is the word that's doing it, Blake. Now is, now is causing the trouble. So he said, all right, OK, I'll make a noise. How's that? Are you getting Kleenex? Yes. Just quickly, give me Kleenex. <coughs> <coughs> OK, here we go. This is the one. Gladioli. A host of glittering stars all gathered to witness the splendor, the spectacle, and the spleen of a very special Christmas dame. There's no difference between me and you except I'm rich and talented. <laughs> <laughs> and you are almost rich. <laughs> yes, it's one more audience with Dame Edna, Christmas Day at 10.25. And before that, you can spend this Christmas night with the Blue Watch crew of the Blackwall Fire Station. They're back on call after the break with London's Burning. So, stay with us.
at the MFI sale. Every single Hygiena kitchen and bedroom unit reduced. 10, 15, 20, up to 30% off. The MFI sale starts Boxing Day, 9 a.m. Here, Santa, heard about Lund Polly's one-day sale this Tuesday. There's 60 pounds off every booking. 60 pounds? Get away. This is the best bit. I think we'll take a break. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. What do you think? You can't sing, you can't play, you look awful. You'll go a long way. Oh, right! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, now the condor's no price. If I pull a condor, we were just rounding the cape. We were trying to up. The captain turned to me and said, What time Nothing is should disturb oh, yeah. that condor moment. Hello, I'm General... Contents insurance in plain English. Insure today, be sure tomorrow. With General Accident. In the beginning, man only had the choice of large meals. Is to your snack in a shot. Just one more greeting to add to the one and a half billion we've already delivered this Christmas. Do you feel all right? Sonatogen, the favorite family of vitamins. For details of